Once it's installed, you have this little mouse icon that pops up. You click on it, and what, right now it's running for me because I didn't want to shut it off because it's running so so nicely. I didn't want to I didn't want to touch it. I'm just, I'm just letting it run right now. But you click on this, you can turn it on and off simply by, by clicking on this um, mouse character here that blinks its eyes every now and again. Uh, but to actually set it up, you go to this gear icon. When you hover over it, these these uh, icons pop up. You click on the gears, and it pulls up uh, your your settings area. And you have these tabs over here called actions, behavior, appearance, schedules, blackouts. And to be quite honest, all I did had to do was these first two, and it's up and going. You don't have to worry about the rest of these. Why make it more complicated? But in, in the actions area. That's where you want to put all your different uh, actions, your, your clickings, your movings, and everything you want to do. You can create those here and you put them in order using these up and down arrows. You can um, put them in the proper order. And in the behavior, that's simply all you got to do is put in the amount of seconds you want. So 3,600 seconds is once every hour. And that's this all occurs then once every hour. So let's go back to actions. And I'll show you how I did this in here. So you might not have to do everything that I did um, because for some reason it, it seems to reset and I have to refresh it to get my uh, my MetaMask to connect again each time. So you might not have to do that, but I had to do um, these extra steps at the top here. But you might only have to start like right here where it says compound button position. And what that's doing is it's positioning the cursor over top of the compound button on their website. And let me also explain what it is. I kind of scrunched it over to the right side of my screen so I can use, you know, pretty much all this side of the screen. Yeah, I can even, you know, pop stuff over and, and do it that way just as long as at the top of every hour, which is when I have this scheduled to go, I don't have this covered up because otherwise you won't be able to uh, click on the button because it's simply moving and clicking your mouse for you. So the first one is to position it over the compound button. So let me pull this back up here again. And that's this one right here. So what happens is when you add these, and I, 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 don't, I don't want to mess these up, so I'm just going to show you by going like this. Uh, the move mouse cursor is what I used for this one right here, the count. And you can rename these up in, up in the name thing here. Uh, I did that because they got so confusing because I had so many of these. But you can see in here, all you really need to do is put in the X and the Y. So the X position and the Y position. And rather than trying to figure that out on your screen, which would be like really difficult, they made this nice little feature called track. You click on that, and again, I don't want to say something that's really working well. So you click on that, and as you're moving this around, it changes that X and Y to what it is on the screen properly. So you move it around, you position it over time on top of where you want it to end up, and it has like this little timer that counts down to zero. Once it hits zero, it locks those numbers in. So once it's over top of that, has those numbers locked in, you're all set. I left everything else alone, all the defaults, it, was, it worked just fine. So then you go and you find the one that does the clicking, which is the click mouse button. You click on that, it pulls up something that looks like this. And I left all this as default. It defaults to left, and that's exactly what I wanted the left mouse button to click and it was as simple as that and what it does is after it positions it it clicks on it it clicks on the compound button for you and then i paused for 11 seconds so this one down here is called sleep and that pauses it for as many seconds as you want it gives you this screen right here again i fill this in i put 11 seconds and i did that because my meta mask is slow and pulling up and well maybe yours is too but it, it takes a little while to come up with uh, the, the amount of gas it kind of sits there and pulses a little bit and finally comes up with the proper gas so i gave it 11 seconds to do that because my computer is kind of slow sometimes and that's that's what that's what this is doing simply pausing before the next thing which is the confirm button position and i'm in so i'll show you what that is here if i can get this to pull up no, see, it's doing it again, so I have to refresh. This is the problem I run into, so I'll refresh up here. And I have to literally connect the wallet again. There we go. So now we're ready to go. So when I click on compound, 
See how, see how long it takes. Okay, and it finally pulls up, and it pulses a couple times, and it comes up. Hopefully that wasn't longer than one second. I don't think it's longer than one second. But what I did is I positioned the pointer right here, which is where that confirm button ends up being. So I positioned it right here using the same uh, position feature where I, where I told you about before, where you, you, you press the track button, you hover it where you want it, it locks it in, and you're done. And this nice little feature here is what I needed because you can see the confirm button is off to the bottom there. What they have in here, really nice, you can use the scroll mouse wheel. And that's what I used here. And I picked 111 pixels just because that was enough to slam it down and that's all I wanted it to do. So it, it scrolls down for you. Once I've hovered over that position, I scroll down 111 pixels by using that nice little action feature there. So that's what that does. Puts it in this position here. And again, I'm pausing in these uh, these areas here because you know my computer is a little bit slow. I just want to make sure that it's not faster than what my computer can handle it. So again, I use the sleep function for that. And then I just clicked on the confirm, which is again using this click mouse button, which I just use all the defaults. Just it's, it's as simple as adding that, and there it was, and it's set and ready to go. And that clicks on there, and it's done. And it submits it for you, and it does it once every hour. It's super awesome. And again, I put all these at the top here, so maybe you have that same problem. So maybe I'll go through these really quick for you, just in case you have the same problem. Um, this is the refresh position, so I positioned the mouse over top of, I, well, I just did this for you well, like moments ago because I had the same problem again. But I end up positioning the, the mouse over the, re, the refresh button, it's over here. And I clicked on it using the mouse click feature. Pause for two seconds just to make sure my computer was keeping up. Upper right menu position. That's what happens when you scrunch down this website. It kind of goes into a mobile mode. And if you click on here, it pulls up the screen here. I position the mouse over top of that. Right here, wallet connect position. And once that happened, the MetaMask selection pulls up. I position it over the MetaMask uh, part of the selection. I clicked on it, paused for two seconds, and then I went into everything we already discussed, the compound button position. So it's super awesome. I'm so glad I found this program. And best of all, it's free. It's super nice. I end up running back to my computer just to watch it happen because, <laughs> which is kind of defeating the purpose, uh, clearly. But, you know, I go to work, like, you know, I'm, I'm gone for like 12 hours a day and then of course I have to sleep. So I, doing this once an hour is just, it's, it's not, you know, it's, it wasn't happening uh, for me. You know, it, it was so easy to install, so easy to set up. Um, and, and keep in mind if they change once you have this all set up, if they change their, their layout on, on the site, you might have to update your uh, your position settings. And uh, one thing I noticed also too, is when you have a number in here, it kind of scooches this down a little bit. So I I kind of hovered like right here. So when it does, if you do, you do accidentally have a number in there, it would still click on the compound. Um, and uh, another thing I wanted to mention is it, it it's a 12 cents a click. So make sure, it ends up being like three dollars a day. Make sure that's that's okay for what you have planned uh, with this whole thing. If three dollars a day is, is too much, well then then space it out more. But right now, at uh, every hour, it's uh, it's three dollars a day. So long as you have a, you know, a couple B and B in there, it should be worthwhile for you. Okay, so I just wanted to show you guys this thing in action because it's really super cool. Uh, you'll notice this little green sliver here. Oh, it's getting really small. That's the countdown timer. This ring turns different colors to tell you different things of what's going on right now. It was green, and now it's just barely a sliver, which means it's counting down to when this is gonna happen. So hopefully we're gonna see this real soon here because it's just a tiny little green sliver now. I'll let you guys watch this, watch it happen. Um, notice my B&B uh, &B in barrel is really low. That's how you want it. 
Run it just a, a little bit and hyper compound. There we go. It turns red. Now it's going to do it. It's going to click on refresh. Connect my wallet again. Selects made a mask. Pops down, hits the compound button. Waits for the very long MetaMask. It's going to scroll it down. Hits the confirm button. Takes the 12 cents. And it's going to compound. Transaction submitted. Does that all on its own for whatever time period you want. I have it set for an hour. And as soon as those values update, you'll see that it, it all it all happened for you. But that's just it's super cool. I really like this. It's it's gonna help this situation a lot for us. Uh, I highly recommend it. Uh, remember Hyper Compound. Uh, I hope you found this beneficial. And I just wanted to thank the uh, the mods for pointing me in the right direction. I wouldn't have ever guessed looking for a mouse moving program would have done exactly what we wanted to do here. But it it works just awesomely. And uh, just thank them for pointing me in the right direction on that. And again, the program is, is Mouse Move, and it's right here on the uh, Microsoft Windows App Store. And what I'm using, I'm, I'm using Windows, of course. It's it's Windows, and I have uh, Google Chrome. I have the MetaMask, but you can adjust this uh, uh, for what for what your needs are. I'm sure um, it's very it's this this program is highly customizable. Um, but again, just. Uh, Stick with it, guys, and uh, just compound like crazy, and happy compounding. I'm really stoked. I hope you are, too. Oh, and something I forgot to mention, uh, that the, uh, the whole part of it having to stay open and uh, with your screensaver, uh, when I was hoping, like, behind the sc even when the screensaver popped on, behind the screensaver, it would, like, uh, keep doing its thing, but it wasn't doing that. So I have it just, you know, open all the time, and that may work for some people, but maybe not for others. Uh, so maybe a, a solution to this would be, you know, get a, a different computer, an old laptop or something, and have it run on there. But for me, it works fine. I, I can leave it open all the time with no, with no issues. Um, but it just, I, I, I switched my screensaver to an, an hour, uh, actually better, a little bit better than an hour, so it would never shut off, and it works fine for me. And look. It's about to happen again here. Is that perfect timing? Yes, I, I did time it that way. So we can sit here and watch it happening. There it goes. <laughs> yes, I'm giggling at this again because this is so cool, I think. How this just works for me all day long without having to do anything. And it goes through, clicks on everything I needed to click on, makes sure my uh, made mask is connected, and automatically clicks on my cut. It's just <laughs> This is so, so amazing. I'm so impressed with this. Like, like, like I said before, we we we're supposed to be uh, doing the hyper compounding, and then it's, it's, this tool is just so amazing for this. It does this all day long for me automatically. Does my compounding, keeps me where I need to be, and it'll it'll work for you too. So just uh, do your thing, compound, compound. So. Again, happy compounding. Thanks for watching.